What the heck is loud budgeting? You've probably heard whispers of it, maybe even seen a few TikToks, but what is it really all about? Well, imagine this. Instead of hiding your budget spreadsheet away like it's a shameful secret, you're actually shouting it from the rooftops. Metaphorically speaking, of course. Loud budgeting is exactly what it sounds like. It's taking the typically taboo topic of personal finance and blasting it out to the world. It's about transparency, accountability, and ditching the shame often associated with money. Unlike traditional budgeting, which is done in private, loud budgeting encourages open discussions about finances, making it more approachable and even, dare I say, fun. This new wave of budgeting is taking social media by storm, especially TikTok, with creators sharing their financial journeys, tips, and tricks with millions. So is loud budgeting just another fleeting internet trend, or is it a revolutionary way to achieve your financial goals? Stick around and let's find out. Okay, let's dive into the nitty gritty. Loud budgeting is all about being open and honest about your finances, both the good and the bad. It's about tracking your spending, setting financial goals, and sharing your progress with others. It's not about showing off or shaming others, it's about fostering a sense of community and support around money. Like a fitness journey, sharing goals and progress can provide motivation and accountability. With loud budgeting, you're accountable to a whole community. It's like having a built-in support system cheering you on. Loud budgeting injects fun and excitement into managing money. Find creative ways to manage your money like budgeting challenges or online communities. There are tons of online resources and communities dedicated to loud budgeting. The goal is to make personal finance more approachable and fun. So, ditch the shame, embrace transparency, and let's get loud about budgeting. All right, let's talk about the elephant in the room traditional budgeting. You know, that thing we're supposed to do but often avoid like the plague, it usually involves spreadsheets, calculators, and a whole lot of guilt. It's often seen as restrictive, complicated, and frankly, a bit of a downer. Loud budgeting flips the script on traditional budgeting. It's not about deprivation or shame, it's about empowerment and community. It's about taking control of your finances and sharing your journey with others who get it. It's like the difference between going to the gym alone and joining a group fitness class. Both can help you achieve your fitness goals, but the latter provides a sense of community, motivation, and accountability that's hard to beat. One of the biggest differences between loud budgeting and traditional budgeting is the use of technology and social media. While traditional budgeting often involves scribbling numbers in a notebook or wrestling with clunky spreadsheets, loud budgeting embraces apps, online communities, and social media platforms to make the process more engaging and accessible. Think about it. Younger generations have grown up with social media. It's how they connect, share their lives, and consume information. So, it only makes sense that they'd be drawn to a budgeting method that embraces these platforms. And let's be real, seeing others achieve their financial goals, even if it's just paying off a credit card or saving for a down payment, can be incredibly motivating. It normalizes the struggles and celebrates the wins, creating a sense of camaraderie that's often missing from traditional budgeting. So how does one actually loud budget? It's simpler than you might think. The beauty of loud budgeting is that it can be customized to fit your personality and comfort level. There are no hard and fast rules, just guidelines and strategies to help you succeed. The first step is to, you guessed it, actually create a budget. Figure out your income, track your expenses, and identify areas where you can save. There are tons of apps and tools out there that can make this process a breeze. You can go old school with a spreadsheet or check out some of the popular budgeting apps like Mint, YNAB, You Need a Budget, or Every Dollar. Once you have a budget in place, it's time to get loud. This is where you share your financial journey with the world, or at least with your chosen community. You can start by joining online forums or Facebook groups dedicated to budgeting, personal finance, or even specific financial goals like debt payoff or investing. Another popular option is to document your journey on social media. TikTok, in particular, has become a hub for loud budgeting content. Creators share their budgeting wins and fails, offer tips and advice, and even participate in budgeting challenges together. The key is to find a community or platform where you feel comfortable sharing your financial journey. Remember, you don't have to share every single detail of your finances if you're not comfortable with it. Start small, maybe by sharing a financial goal you're working towards, or a budgeting tip that's worked for you. Now you might be thinking, Graham, this all sounds great, but is loud budgeting really for me? That's a valid question. Just like any budgeting method, loud budgeting has its pros and cons. Let's break it down. On the plus side, loud budgeting provides a level of accountability that's hard to replicate with traditional methods. 
Knowing that others are watching and cheering you on can be a powerful motivator to stay on track with your financial goals. Plus, the sense of community and support can make the often daunting world of personal finance feel less isolating. However, loud budgeting isn't for everyone. Sharing your finances publicly can feel uncomfortable or even unsafe for some, and that's perfectly okay. Remember, personal finance is personal, and you should only share what you're comfortable with. Another potential downside is the pressure to keep up appearances. Social media can create a highlight reel of people's lives and it's easy to fall into the trap of comparing your financial journey to others. Remember, everyone's financial situation is unique, and what works for one person might not work for another. Ultimately, the decision of whether or not to try loud budgeting is a personal one. If you're someone who thrives on community support and accountability, and you're comfortable sharing your financial journey with others, then loud budgeting might be a great fit for you. But if you prefer to keep your finances private or feel uncomfortable with the potential for judgment or comparison, then traditional budgeting methods might be a better option. Loud budgeting tips for beginners. Ready to give loud budgeting a try? Awesome. Here are a few tips to help you get started. You don't have to broadcast your entire financial history on day one. Begin by setting a small, achievable financial goal, like cutting back on dining out for a month or saving a certain amount each week. Join online communities or follow social media accounts that align with your financial goals. Look for supportive spaces where you can share your journey, ask questions, and learn from others. Whether you prefer a spreadsheet, an app, or a good old-fashioned notebook, find a tracking method that works for you and stick with it. Regularly review your progress and celebrate your wins no matter how small. Remember, you don't have to navigate the world of personal finance alone. Don't hesitate to reach out to financial advisors, mentors, or trusted friends and family members for guidance and support. Acknowledge and celebrate your accomplishments along the way. Whether it's paying off a credit card, hitting a savings milestone, or simply sticking to your budget for a month, take the time to recognize your progress and reward yourself for your hard work. Don't try to portray a perfect financial image online. Be honest about your struggles, setbacks, and lessons learned. Sharing your authentic journey will resonate with others and create more meaningful connections. It's easy to get caught up in comparing your financial situation to others, especially on social media. But remember, everyone's journey is unique. Focus on your own goals and progress, and celebrate your own wins. Loud budgeting success stories. Still not convinced? Let's hear from some real people who've achieved incredible financial success through loud budgeting. We've got Sarah, who paid off $30,000 in student loans in just two years by documenting her journey on Instagram and connecting with a supportive online community. Then there's John, who finally bought his dream house after joining a loud budgeting Facebook group and participating in monthly budgeting challenges. These are just a couple of examples of how the power of community and accountability can lead to life-changing financial transformations. Remember, these success stories aren't meant to discourage you if you're not at the same stage in your financial journey. They're simply meant to inspire you and show you what's possible when you combine smart financial strategies with the power of community and accountability. Strong call to action. So, what are you waiting for? Join the loud budgeting movement and start taking control of your finances today. Remember, you don't have to do this alone. There's an entire community of like-minded individuals ready to support you every step of the way. Share your thoughts in the comments below. Have you tried loud budgeting? What are your favorite budgeting tips and tricks? Let's get the conversation started. Join the loud budgeting revolution. So, there you have it. The ins and outs of loud budgeting. It's not just another trendy budgeting fad. It's a powerful tool that can help you achieve your financial goals while feeling supported and empowered along the way. Remember, the key to successful budgeting, whether loud or quiet, is finding a system that works for you and sticking with it. Don't be afraid to experiment, try new things, and adjust your approach as needed. The most important thing is to take that first step and start taking control of your finances. Trust me, your future self will thank you.